Well, from the 80s this weekend and the 70s today to the 30s, the next several days, big changes are moving in because of a Canadian high pressure. And that just means that we're filtering in a very cold air from the north and northwest. And you're going to feel it waking up tomorrow morning, but in particular Wednesday and Thursday. We've got quiet conditions across the area right now. And as our as the clouds clear on out tonight, that helps those temperatures to fall even colder the next few days. So we're talking temperatures dropping about 15 degrees on average below average for not just our morning lows, but our afternoon highs we will gradually warm things up by late week, but still going to be a little bit below average for the majority of our four day plus forecast. And then on top of that, we are continuing to remain nice and dry through next weekend. So we really haven't seen a whole lot of rain in the last two weeks. We definitely need it, and that's just not in the cards. In our latest forecast, it looks like we've got a beautiful stretch of sunshine, though but that will be accompanied by very cold temperatures. Now looking at our, our latest alerts here, we've got freeze warning across western North Carolina and parts of northeast Georgia. The rest of us a freeze watch for that potential to see those temperatures hovering that freezing point. It is certainly going to be close and we could be near record breaking overnight lows on one particular day in in this forecast Wednesday being that day, but tomorrow my forecast is waking up to temperatures right around 39 degrees. The record 31 Wednesday forecasting 32 the record or 33. The record is 32 and then Thursday I'm forecasting 33. I do not think we'll dip into the 20s just yet for the upstate, but definitely not going to be the case for Western North Carolina. They've got several days that could dip into the 20s waking up in the morning. Now look at the afternoon highs. 40s and 50s. We are going to be well below average. Normal high this time of year is in the lower 70s. So a very chilly day in store for us. Very typical of December standards. So we're going to feel more of those winter temperatures the next several days, tomorrow being one of them. Now on top of that, very dry conditions. Most of our area is in a level one to even level two drought in a few spots. Greenwood, Abbeville, Elberton, those are some of the driest spots across our area, and we just don't have any rainfall in the forecast. In fact, we've got a beautiful stretch of weather tomorrow, and especially as we get into Wednesday, that's where we could see those temperatures dip even colder because we have all the clear skies ushering in that colder air on Wednesday. So we just continue to remain nice and dry. That's the theme the next few days not going to warm us up quite as much as we should. But as we move towards the very end of the week, that's where we could see a gradual warm up, especially by Friday into the weekend. So perfect conditions moving us into the weekend where we'll finally feel a little bit more warmth in the forecast, but certainly not the case just yet. Waking up tomorrow morning, upper 30s, only rising into the mid to upper 50s. And we've got several cold days in store for us right near freezing Wednesday, Thursday, and then finally gradually warming up Friday into the weekend. Not a drop of rain in the forecast and for our friends in Western North Carolina, definitely bundle up. We've got 20s in the forecast beginning on Wednesday.